So the projections uh, in this installation are bookended by these uh, sometimes static shots and, and sometimes tracking moving shots uh, with the performance uh, in, the, in the center here. What went into your decisions to choose uh, to both represent uh, the performance and the images of the, of the Shaker village? Well, that's really about this idea of the order and the chaos that I mentioned earlier. Um, so, you know, having having the chaos of the performance in the meeting house in the center and then the order of the landscape and the architecture in the outside. Although, you know, at the beginning of the piece, the, the dance is also very ordered. So you see, you know, that real harmony in the beginning and then the dance becomes more disordered um, and more chaotic as the day goes on. Um, and so you see how the order can open into the chaos um, and the, the shots get shorter. The shots of the landscape and architecture get shorter and they, the editing of that channel also gets a little more chaotic, you know, as the performance um, gets a little more chaotic. Uh, but I think we always wanted to, to include um, include the landscape and the architecture in the in the video somehow because you know for us it is always a, a piece about place all of our work is about place and that's so important you know the the meeting house is very much part of the village so you know we wanted to show the village not just the meeting house but we didn't know when we when we were there shooting exactly how everything would get cut together. We hadn't made any of those decisions when we were first shooting. Um, we didn't know if it would be intercut. We didn't know, we didn't really know because we didn't, we didn't really know um, <laughs> what things would look like um, until we got them back into editing. Um, and we didn't know how long it would be. And we didn't know, we didn't really know. It was all such an experiment to take something that's a durational performance that's that long and then really, you know, one of the main goals was to make something out of it that was very different than the experience of the performance itself. Um, so I think, you know, we wanted the film to, to retain something, retain some, some of the feeling of it, but also to really be a thing in itself. Um, that's separate, yeah. And I, what I loved when Mariam came up with the, she was like, I have this idea and with the, the free channel, like what if, because in the editing, even of the movement alone, the amount, the, like I said, it took us a year, a year to edit. And just even going over movement phrases and what, and like keeping some integrity of the day and how much do we keep that and how much do we preserve and how much do we kind of mix up so when Mariam came, like, came with, one day I came to her house and we're editing, she's like, I have this idea, look at this. And it was a way that we could preserve also the container that happened in the meeting house, like the, main, the meeting house being that central container and not um, disrupt the flow of that experience, but include, simultaneously include all the support of the village in between, you know, the meeting house. So like, the support of the village is really there and present. And it was then just a lot of experimenting with like, okay, this tracking shot goes well with it. Like, you know, these are the, the, the sequence, like then go viewing everything that we have and then being like, oh, I think this might work really well with the symmetry of these lines here, this park, you know, and then it was just like trying stuff out and, and putting them together. And then having more, con like as we started seeing the arc of the video piece, being like, okay, we should speed this part up. We need to get, you know, like having an arc and a rhythm that we could then cut to. So there was a progression, a feeling of progression within the, 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 the overall, the video piece as a whole. There was also a way in which, you know, during the day, we had all the windows open in the meeting house and there was this constant circulation of, of this air from, you know, all this expanse of beautiful grass and plants and everything animals even that are all outside throughout the village there was this sound the sound of the insects the sound of the trees all of that was coming in the entire time that we were going through this performance and so 
I think once we decided to juxtapose, you know, the exterior shots with the interior, it also felt like, you know, that allowed us to, to have this thing happening in the sound where it actually did sound more like it felt in the meeting house where you had, you know, the, the sound of what was happening inside, but you also had the outside entering in um, and, and kind of interweaving through the, the experience of the day. And from a dancer's perspective, it feels the same way because the, the environment kind of set the stage for us and for our experience. And when I watch the film, it's the same way with uh, it sets the stage. Uh, it gives kind of the background of our experience in the center. So I think it translates really well. Yeah. 